Okie doke. So, I'm just going to double check that it's come up on my thing. Why did it not do it? Hopefully, joke. So, didn't work on the thing that's okay okie doke so I am going to start by drawing whoops a daisy drawing the budgies so I'm going to go in with not quite sure why that didn't work over there but anyway So I'll draw this little guy first. Ah. I'll go back here and get his eye started. So there's two little budgies sitting together for this. little wing so I just start by doing the basic shape so they're sort of oval these guys they're an oval shape <clears throat> and I've got them both sitting on a perch and they're sort of facing each other this one's a little green one and the one on the right's a little blue one I've been hiding and watching your live streams lately thought I'd say hello you're very talented thank you Susan that's really sweet thank you very much and welcome <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I love drawing. It's one of my favourite, favourite things to do. Drawing and painting. It is lovely to have you here, Dal. Thank you for sharing my art journey with me. Hello, Yasmin. Hey, Wookie. <laughs> How are you going, Dal? I keep, everyone's got names, not nicknames. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I had another mate from Twitch pop over the other day and I'm like, um, I didn't recognise his real name, his last name. <laughs> it was so funny. So how have you all been? So I'm just going to draw this little guy. Doing good. Great hearing your voice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I've had a few days off. My daughter got married at the weekend, so we had a wonderful weekend, but I've spent two days recovering. <laughs> two days just going, oh, I don't have to do anything now. I can just breathe. <laughs> so I just breathed for two days and did nothing else. <laughs> yeah, it was lovely. It went beautiful. So very, very happy. The day couldn't have gone better. So these two little budgies up sitting on their little perch yeah it was absolutely beautiful I'll have to pop some um, photographs on my discord I could probably even pop them on insta I throw I'll make an exception if it's not an art one this time around <laughs> it can be it can be a, my baby's photos my baby's wedding photos So these guys are just touching beaks, except I've got them a little bit apart. Two lovebirds to celebrate. Yeah, well, actually, you know, I didn't even think of that. I did not even think of that. But yes, they are. It's perfect. I've got to find a picture of the tail. You have a Discord? I do, I do. Um, I don't know how to stick a link in in YouTube. <laughs> I'll pop it on my, you're on my Twitter. I'll pop a link on my Twitter because <laughs> I have no idea. Like the technologies are scary. <laughs> Actually,
actually, if you go to my Twitch channel, there's a link below that um, on my chat on my Twitch channel about. So, but I'll also pop it in my. I, I don't know what I'm. I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Me and technology, no, don't go together. <laughs> So these are going to be fun. I thought these are simple, but it's a really, budgies are a really fun way to show watercolour technique because you can keep them nice and soft and um, like you can get the real use of the watercolour effects. And then because they've got lovely soft colours on them. So this one's a little blue one. He's got his little blue bit down there. I think I've got his eye too far back on his head and not round enough. He's got a little triangle here. His dots are slightly different. And that would be my Bear Bear, my little Jack Russell, going, oh, there's someone, I can hear a car. All right. I've actually figured out my camera today, yay. And, excuse my doggies. I've got my camera working today, so I'm a bit happy. It was working the other day, but it was a bit blurry. Excuse my dogs. <laughs> I just need to find a picture, of, oh my goodness, under his little tail, like that. My dogs make the weirdest noises, I apologise in advance. <laughs> they talk. Can you, that's Pippi. She talks. I don't know what she's saying, but she talks. <laughs> All right, well that's the basic outline of the two budgies so but i'm going to do these pen and watercolor so i'm going to get oh shoot me coffee i've got me coffee don't forget your coffee love <laughs> oh my god yasmin it's so they are so funny she sits my little one pippy i might shut the door <laughs> pippy sits and she looks at you and she won't pick up it. You've got to pass her her toy. She won't pick it up because she's, you know, she's the bottom of the, pup, pe the pecking order. So she's like, you have to pass me my toy. So she sits there with her little lips together and goes, ooh, just looks at you and goes, ooh, hoo -hoo, until you pass her a thing. October sketches of Pippi. Yes! Well, they were of my Pippi puppy. <laughs> and all the, all the shenanigans she got up to. <laughs> I know, she's the quirkiest, cutest little muffin. And she's the best cuddler ever. She's like a little magnet. Whenever I'm sitting down, she's usually on my lap. She's a great little cuddler. And then Bear Bear, who's her dad, who's a cutie muffin. I probably don't even need to go over this with pen, you know. I have a lot, had a lot of pets, all kinds of love their noises. I had a talking parakeet once. He really talked a lot. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Yeah, we had, we had lots of canaries and um, finches, and I love the gentle noises they make. We did have budgies for a while. Um, yeah, they're not, a, not as, as magical sounding. <laughs> they're sort of like, rah, 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 the whole day. <laughs> but um, I love um, finches and canaries. They are so cute. I never trained one to talk, though, a budgie. My family had talking ones, but... My friend had a cockatoo that could talk and it learned all the wrong words. <laughs> it learned all the words that you shouldn't be learning, um, which was rather hilarious when you went over there. But <laughs> So I'm just doing a rough, uh, well not a rough, a light outline around the birds because I love to do pen and watercolour, mix it together. You just got to make sure that your pens are water fast because these ones these microns, I love these microns, and this is a 003, so it's incredibly fine. As you can see, the line is ultra fine. Just taking the dogs out. No worries, Dal. No worries at all. I think this one's running out of ink. It's getting a bit light on, but it doesn't matter because I don't mind it being a light drawing. He just talked one day, repeated what you do, and then never shut up. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> It's so cute. Yeah, no, our, well, my, my grandpa's one, they live behind a racetrack, so they got all the jockeys walking past and all the trainers, and they swore at him, so he learnt how to swear really well. Because every time they'd walk past the gate, they'd say something. <laughs> 
and said, yeah, so cocky, poor old cocky, learned how to say all kinds of things. <laughs> and once they learn, they can't unlearn. <laughs> so it was all a little bit funny. Excuse the blurriness while I'm doing this, while the focus is going all weird. See how light that pen line is? It's incredible. Oh, actually, it looks really dark on the screen. Well, there you go. I zoomed my camera in too good. <laughs> so I'm just going to draw in some of these little lines on here. They are amazing though. They're gorgeous animals. I love birds. We've got, oh, now he wants to come in. Hang on. You stop making all your noises. I can introduce you to everyone, Bear Bear. Come and say hello. This is Bear Bear, come here. Oh, this is my Bear Bear. He's my little buddy who's nearly always in my art room with me, helping me paint. He's my muse, aren't you? And he loves a cuddle. <laughs> say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so that's the Bear Bear. My brother Bird sat Jerry for a week. He taught him a bad word. <laughs> That's what brothers are for. Awesome. I'm sure you'll get him back at some stage. <laughs> That's very cute. <laughs> as long as he doesn't do it to the kids, it's okay. As long as you don't teach the kids to swear, it's not a problem. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop these little stripes. So this is the little blue budge. And um, funny though, you know, Pippi sits on my lap all day, but I can't, she won't be picked up when I'm streaming. She doesn't want to be picked up. So I usually pick up my camera and put it under the table because they've got their doggy bed under my table. So I um, usually just pop my camera down if anyone wants to see the old Pippi Meister. Oh, pardon me. I'm full of airs. So what's everyone got on for the rest of their week? I'm just painting, painting, and more painting. <laughs> and playing some games, because I love games too. So I'm just drawing all the little lines that I can see on the patterns, because they've got very dark patterns on their, on their wing feathers. These are the bottoms of the feathers. I'm not going to do every detail. I'm just um, marking in the general shapes, because with watercolour you can be a little bit looser. Um, and a bit softer with your effects. Like if I was doing acrylic, I would try and do a lot more like finer detail. Too hot here for too much. Oh, oh yes, we're in winter and it's beautiful. I hate the heat. I can't handle hot. Yeah, I love winter. We've had, I'm, even though I'm still sitting in a t-shirt, I've still got a t-shirt on, but um, yeah, no, you guys have been getting hit real hard with the heat, haven't you? Yeah, I saw, I've got a few other friends who've been telling me they've been getting like, I only work in Celsius, but they've been getting extremely hot, like 38, 40 degrees Celsius days in the US. And I think even England's been being hit with 30 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit though. I don't, I'm not good at Fahrenheit or conversions. I can't convert times and I can't convert. I have to get my phone because my phone's my camera today. <laughs> Usually, unusually hot up north areas. Wow. Yeah, I was watching one of the Arctic shows, one of the shows on Foxtel. I love watching documentaries. And they've had, they've had a melt. Their melt has been much faster than normal and all their caribou and all the wildlife have changed their migration. So it's really affecting the um, North and South Poles, which is a bit scary. Climate change, UPIO. And even us, like this summer, we usually have terribly hot summers and all our dirt dries, our grass dies off completely. None of our plants, you know, plants. Hello, Shane, how you going, Dale? And um, all our um, plants struggle and we run out of water because we're only on um, rainwater. We don't have pumped uh, town water. Um, it's not plumb from the city or anything. So we're rain dependent. But this year we had green grass all summer, which never, ever, ever happens. It was so weird. <laughs> it was incredibly weird. If you remember that 98.6 and 37. Oh, awesome, Susan. That's that. that, that I'm going to write that down actually though, because I'm a Jenny and I forget. 98.6 and 37. That's brilliant. Thank you. 
How's my favourite Australian <laughs> lawyer, a sweetheart? I'm great, mate. How are you? And how's mum? Shane's one of my English friends, peeps. Shane, meet Susan and Yasmin. Yasmin and Susan, meet Shane. <laughs> He's one of my English mates. How have you been, Dal? And how's mum? <laughs> How have you been? My baby girl got married this weekend, Shane. I've got Cindy got married to her gorgeous, gorgeous fiance. I'm good, mummy's good. Awesome, glad to hear it. I'm a retired lab tech, and in the lab we used to call use Celsius and metric. Oh, cool. I actually have got this drawing done pretty quick and it doesn't doesn't need to be complex because it's watercolor and a little bit of like just the ink on the outline it like see it's just a very it's a basic shape like this the birds are sort of almost I don't know what sort of shape they'd be almost a sausage shape oval with a point for their tail and their tails about the same length as their body almost are you an empty nester no no luckily I live on a farm and we've got 20 acres, so which is about 10 hectares. So both my girls are going to stay put. They're going to live with us. We're going to they're going to build a house on other parts of the farm. So I've got two daughters. I've got April, um, who's 22, and Cindy, who's 25. And yeah, we'll just give them a part of the farm because you know these days kids aren't going to be able to afford to buy their own place. So we're just going to give them their part of the farm. And they can live with us forever and ever and ever. They can never get rid of me. Ha ha ha. <laughs> they just have to build their own houses, that's all. But they'll have their own land. So it works out perfect. Perfect. Right, I'm going to do the background first because I made this mistake the other day. I didn't do the background first. And it was a silly, silly thing to do because then I messed it up. It's so nice you can have your daughter so close by. I, it is wonderful. Hello, Aya. How are you? So I'm going to wet. Oh, my brush was dirty. No, it doesn't matter. It's going to be a blue background anyway. Oh, my goodness. That was bad. But anyway. Okay, people. Went. I thought I cleaned my brush. Apparently not. That's all right. I'm just going to wet the background. Doesn't matter. It'll fade back anyway. You won't even notice. These are the things that happen in art. you just got to carry on. So I'm just going around the birds and wetting all of the paper, trying not to get it anywhere I want the paint to go is where I'm wetting. So I wet all of that. It's nice you can have your daughter so close. It is amazing. I love it. Grandma and the ba I know, I know when they're ready. <laughs> At the moment, I, I, grand sit, I, I babysit the grand puppy. They've got a Jack Russell pup, so he comes and stays at my house. So every day when they whenever they go to work, I baby I puppy sit. <laughs> so I'm grandpa grandma the puppy. So yeah, no, it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. I'm excited for their future. I'm excited for the pair of them. Okay, so I can see the sheen on the paper. It doesn't matter that the water's travelled over the log a bit, the stick a bit. I'm gonna go down here. Oops. I can because the log's going to be a different colour anyway. So now I'm actually going to go. What colour am I going to go? I'm going to make up my mind pretty quickly. I am going to go a blue. I'm going to go cobalt blue for the background. Cobalt blue. Going to mix it up on my palette. I should have done that beforehand. And now I'm going to drop it in. And just drop it in very lightly, softly, softly, softly around everywhere I want it on the wet pieces of paper and let it flow around. I've got to get it on while the paper's wet. I usually have a hairdryer to dry quickly, but I'm not worrying so much about that today. I'll let it dry naturally and chat to you guys while it's drying. Around there. And I'm only I'm working on this is about an A4 size, I suppose. A4 paper. Give it a tiny little bit more. I'll do a couple of layers on the background. Do I do it in there? Far out. I didn't wet in there. That was smart, wasn't it? All right, I'll do it now. Doesn't matter. Okay, we good. We good. And then I do under there. And I'll add a little bit more to that top right. 
I'll, I'll darken up this side of the right hand side of the picture a little bit so I've just got to let that sit for a minute <clears throat> let that sit for a little minute it's gonna dry off get me a bit of cloth I always have a bit of cloth in my hand and just absorb up because you can lift off a bit of the pigment where I've got it where I don't want it I'm gonna take it off the edge of that budgie where I've got it onto him and I'm using what's the paper I'm using Fontaine Fontaine watercolor is so pretty more subtle than acrylic it is it is such a beautiful soft magical medium but it does have a life of its own <laughs> It does have a tendency to go, you know what? I don't want to do what you want me to do. I'm going to do my own thing. Watercolour does. <laughs> so it does tend to take over a little bit if you're not careful. And I'm, I have moments of I'm not really careful. So I make a bit of a mess. So now I'm um, going to go back, just add another layer just over this side. I'm not going to do the whole picture. I just want to darken up this side. It's hard to control. Yeah, you've got to learn to love the happy accidents because they happen more often than not. <laughs> So I've learned to become one with, oh well, well that's what it did, so that's what we're having today. Um, yeah. And I don't treat it like, I, I, don't, I don't do the, the really realistic stuff with watercolour. I try to do more realistic with drawing and with acrylic. With watercolour, I tend to let it do its thing a little bit, have a bit of fun with it. But um, it's just so magical. Watercolour is magical. So I'm literally just going to leave that side a little bit darker. Hello, Sloth. How are you going? How are you? How are you? I'm good. Excellent. Glad to hear. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to, I might add a little, oh no, I better not. I'm going to add a little bit more. And I sort of decide on the fly too. I, I never, I plan the drawing, but I don't really plan the background <laughs> or the, the process itself. I sort of just go in, I'm just going to go a little bit around this one, not the whole, or maybe I will go the whole thing. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I will go the whole thing. I wasn't going to. It's evolving. What can I say? It's evolving. Because I do like it. It's actually prettier, but that little bit heavier color and um, it'll make these little birds contrast I might make them one's blue and one's green but I might make them both green or I could make one yellow hmm decisions decisions now I'll stick or maybe I'll make a green yeah I'll make him green this one's gonna be green now <laughs> so I'm just gonna let them dry for a second grab me a bit of cloth and just touch around the edges again Ooh, like that grab me a bit of cloth around the edges like that well I'm glad the stream link thing worked <laughs> I see birds me happy oh good I'm glad to hear it yeah I've been loving painting the birds I've been doing lots and lots of different birds lately because I'm planning on making a book so of, of, of all Australian bird species and I've done a heap of digital ones and um, yeah, I'm going to do a series of acrylics and watercolours, so it should be fun. I'm just going to let that dry for a second, or I can actually work. I can do their little eyeballs. A bird book, yes. Yes, so that's the plan, is just have a, just a picture book, like a coffee table book, just with photographs of birds that I've painted of all different species. Like I want to do all the finches, because there's amazing finches. Um, cockatoos, glass, because we have such beautiful, colourful birds here. And I just really enjoy drawing them and painting them. My Jerry was all white, but when he flew, the entire underside of his wings was brilliant turquoise. Wow, that's really cool. Haven't seen many lately. It hit 118 Fahrenheit, so no birds. Yeah, no, even the birds. In summer here, I put, we have, the birds come right up to the house where it's cooler because we've got the big verandas around the house and I've got all my gardens sort of under the verandas because otherwise they burn up and frizzle. So, and I've got bird, bird baths, the whole front of my house is a bird bath in just about every garden bed <laughs> so the birds come up and nest in my little garden at the front um, especially in summer they stay they they, they hide in there because it's nice and cool but yeah it gets too hot for the poor little things it gets way too hot for the poor little things so now i'm going to mix up cobalt blue 
Three and amber. Three and amber. Three and amber cobalt blue. For the eye colour. I need to come over and see that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I love my little birdies and I've got my little wrens that live in my front garden bed nearest my window. So I sit there and watch the little wrens bounce around on the windowsill. So I'm just drawing in the pupils, or the iris, sorry. All right, and I'm gonna go around, just around the edge. I've gotta be very careful not to touch anywhere that I've already wet. I'm just gonna do this light. This will dry very pale. So this is burnt umber cobalt blue. The gray around the eye. Yeah, it'd be de like a desert. Because <laughs> this little guy is actually quite turquoise. I probably could get away with doing a turquoise for him. Um, I'm going to go over this with yellow. I've got to be a bit careful because that's going to actually shine through green. I might try and lift a little bit of that. So I'm going to grab my brush. That's got too much of a soft point. I'm going to grab a slightly bigger brush. Make sure it's clean and try and lift out some of this blue that I've got just there. So I can literally rub it and that'll take that blue away because if I put yellow on top of it, it's going to go green. And I don't want it to be green there. I'm great, Sloth. I'm great. I was just saying to everyone in chat that my daughter got married at the weekend, so I've had a very big weekend. And I'm very excited that it all went off without a hitch and lovely. And yeah, I'm a very happy camper, so I haven't streamed in days. I haven't painted in days, which is very unlike me, because I'm always doing one or the other. So I've been watching. I haven't, I, I was on last week. I was on last week. Um, but I've, I've had to alter times because of the wedding organising and things happening everywhere. I couldn't commit to any normal times. I just had to jump on when I could. But I will be mixing it up on both. I will be on both. I'll be live on Twitch and on YouTube. I'll be doing at least two days a week here, possibly three, and two to three on Twitch. So I'll be spreading it around and I'll be doing games over there as well a lot more. So I will have links to all of that in my about thingy below. <laughs> oh, I like not having the anxiety. <laughs> the scary games, oh my God. I must admit, it's nice. The trucking game is nice and peaceful. No anxiety. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to, you can see that's still quite damp. It's not wet anymore, it's just gone to damp. You've got to just plan out um, when I can add colours and where to. So I can probably work on their feet for now. So I can actually do their little feet in, and their little feet are blue, a blue grey. Don't forget to hydrate. I've got my drink. I've got my drink. <laughs> I'm good. So their feet are sort of a purpley colour. So I'm going to go a bit of blue, a bit of red. Whoop, and I nearly dropped my brush. And I'm going to take that down onto this foot. So that's just a bit of cobalt blue and a bit of cad red to make this. It's a very, well, it's not really a light purple. It's a purpley grey colour. Take that onto this toe. And I can add more detail in back in with my pen. I can only see two toes. He actually has toes, but they're at the back. So I can work on these for a little bit. I'll add the shadow underneath. Go a bit, a bit more, a bit of stronger blue. A bit of indigo. I've got to actually buy some more indigo. I've got to buy some more indigo. So I'm getting low on the indigo. I'm going to use that for a shadow colour underneath. Just under there. Like that. Oh, the wind's picked up out there. Okay, I'm just going to leave that like that for a minute. Let that settle. Just got to keep feeling when it's dry. 
All right, so what color eyes have they got? He's actually got like a pale blue around the trim of his eye, so I'm gonna add that. I can actually, it's like very, very, very pale blue around his iris. I did the pupil before, so I'm just gonna add this light blue. You can barely see it <clears throat> around the iris. that I might even and these are two little boy birds because they've got their little blue bits on their beaks they've got very tiny little bit of blue here for both of them so I'll pop that on because there's not near the not quite near the edge of the, the paper where the water is so you've got to sort of stay away from anywhere that you've wet until it dries off a little bit. It doesn't look very turquoise on the camera, but it is turquoise. There's a little bit of colour distortion, I think. All right. So I'll let that dry for a second. Have another sip of my coffee. I had a bit of a bubble there. You can see where the bubble sat and it's got a clear bit under it. <laughs> All right. Now, what am I going to do here? So, I'm going to make both of these birds green. So I've got to get a green, a mix of green that I'm happy with. What colours have I got? So I can go a little bit of cobalt turquoise. I'll mix that up quite strongly. And I'll go lemon yellow. We'll see what happens. That's a beautiful green actually. So there you go. So cobalt turquoise and lemon yellow make a beautiful soft green. Soft bluey green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet the bellies. Oops, it is. I'm gonna wet part of the back, the neck, and then come down onto the bellies. You can see I've got a little bit on my brush and it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to, while that's wet, I'm going to drop the paint in and let it run around the tum. Both the little birds. Drag that back up onto that bird's belly. The part above the beak, if it's a pretty colour, it's male. Yeah, females have pink or pink and, or taupe coloured and the boys are blues or greens. They are lovely. So these ones are two little boys, two little boy birds. So I'll just let that dry and I'll wet this one on this side. And different birds have different um, markings, like different ways of showing their, whether they're male or female. Like our little wrens, they're the most magnificent blue. And the little girls are just solid grey. <laughs> they're bright, bright blue, like a little peacock. They're display colours. Absolutely gorgeous little things. So I'm just dropping this green that I've mixed. And I'm just going to let that... I don't mind if it's a little bit blotchy splotchy. Hope to see you on Twitch sometime soon. I miss being a ninja sloth. <laughs> I'll be back on Twitch. I'm going to alternate. I'm going to alternate. I like both. So I'm going to alternate. I like doing both. I get to create more art everywhere. <laughs> See you later, doll. Thank you for popping in. Buffering? Oh, okay. It's all looking good on my end, which is... I haven't got any buffering issues, so hopefully it's not a... I think it's a YouTube-y thing. My computer's okay. Just having a quick look. Yep, yeah, no, my, my computer's doing its thing. I've got to not stick my brush in my coffee. <laughs> That's the plan. So, background is just about dry, so I can start to work on there. I'm actually going to add a diluted, a bit more diluted up here. And go up onto this bird's head the back can add a little bit of a stronger color and 
and I've got it on low latency so if it's struggling it's but it usually tells me on my screen then so that was cobalt turquoise and lemon yellow and the so same for the second bird come up and around the back of his little head I made it a little bit darker just a little bit thicker consistency which makes the paint a little bit darker take that down the back Got to soften that edge. I don't want any hard edges. There we go. Take it round the front a little bit. Come right down the back. And any lights that I've lost, I can add back in. That's his other little wing coming down here. Like that. He's the same. All right. So um, I need to look at another picture because actually he's got a blue tail. He's green with blue. Let's do that. <laughs> ha! We're going to go to cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. A bit more. So I'm using um, Schminky and Sennelia too. Um, I'm mixing it up. So I'm just going to go a stronger colour on the tail. Because his tail is that stronger colour. Take it right down. I should try and do it in one sweep. Like that. Same with this one. And I'll add a few layers. that right down. I'm back, got lost in the pet channel of Discord for a moment. Oh. <laughs> cool. Yeah, there's lots of cute pets. I'll tell you what I found a couple of channels. I found an otter channel and a um, rabbit channel on Twitch. So 24 hours a day you can watch otters playing or sleeping and you can watch yeah rabbits <laughs> it's dangerous because I, I i usually turn it on whenever i'm doing stuff i turn on the otters in the background and they are so cute oh my god they are just a world of cuteness <laughs> but yeah I'll, I'll, I, I don't know how to share the links here but um yeah on twitch it's animal rescue and it's otters oh my god they're so cute <laughs> All right, these guys are starting to look like little budgies. So, I've got to add, I've got to wait till they're, I've got to be patient. I'm going to add some yellow now, some pure yellow. A little bit of yellow. I'm going to go in at the top of his little face, because his face is nearly all yellow. Oops. Don't stick your, I nearly stuck my brush in the coffee. <laughs> Got a little tiny tinge of green to it because I'm not very good at keeping my palette clean. Okay, so come down under here. So this is a lemon yellow again, just on its own. And a little bit diluted around onto its little face. Is she buffering to you at all? Wonder if my internet is having trouble. Yeah, I think it's mine's not buffering. Mine's it says I'm fine. Usually I get a little red alert on my screen that tells me I'm having internet issues. And it's not telling me I'm having any. So I think it's just a, a where your internet is thing. But it can be, it can, I can, oh, yay, it can happen anywhere. It can happen anywhere. It can be a pain. So I'm just popping this yellow around now.
technology is a painful thing sometimes. Yeah, we're like that because we're satellite dish too. So it depends on the weather here if we get a good connection or not. If it's sunny, it's okay. If it's very overcast, it can be a bit patchy. But we're, we're having a good day today weather-wise. It's windy, but it's not, not overcast. So I'm going to take a little bit of this yellow everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but most. I'm going to lift a little bit of that off too. Lift a little bit of that off his little face. Spread that around, add a bit more water. Need to do that. And I'm just going to pick that up with my brush, with my cloth, just to soften that a little bit. All right, now I'm going to let that dry for a minute. And we're all dry around here, so I can add the stick. So what I'm going to do is wet where the stick is. Finally get good connection on my phone, but awful on my laptop. Oh, wow! Well, that's unusual. I'm the opposite. I usually get my laptop's fine, but my phone's buffer. Okay, so I've wet the paper and I'm going to add yellow ochre for the stick. A bit of yellow ochre. I'll go yellow ochre and burnt umber for the stick. So now I'm just going to pop the yellow ochre on the top of where, everywhere I've just wet that stick. Pop the yellow ochre on top and it'll run along where I've put the water. Like that. I can now take the moisture out of my brush and just sort of sop it up at the bottom a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to go a little bit of burn umber on the bottom. So get a little bit of burn umber and pop that on the underneath and it'll sort of flow up. Try your phone, no worries, doll. Because phone, actually, I suppose phone can be more stable because it's on its own, its own thing. Like an independent independent connection kind of thing, I suppose. Okay, so that's I'm gonna leave that alone and I've got to add a bit of shadow colour underneath the birds. So I'm looking at my big picture on my big screen and I'm gonna make up a purple and I'm gonna go indigo. Indigo and a touch of red. Touch of cab red. Tiny touch of cab red into my indigo to make a dark purpley shadowy colour because underneath the birds is shadow where they're sitting on the branch the stick perch is shadowed just under there like that and I've actually got to add shadows onto the birds but I'll do that at the end for now I'll just um, Have a sip of my coffee, let that dry a tiny little bit. Ew, my coffee's already gone cold. <laughs> Righto, I'm just going to soften this edge, so I'm going to wet my brush and just take out that edge on that little bit there because I don't like that hard edge. Now, what am I going to do now? I'm going to start to work on the little lines around their faces and stuff. So I'm going to do that in a grey and I'm going to make that up with a burnt umber cobalt blue. Make it, I make all my own greys, so I just use varying mixtures of burnt umber cobalt blue. So burnt umber, I use more burnt umber, a little bit of blue makes a darker grey. A little bit of blue makes a darker grey. Thank you, thank you, they are very cute little dudes. And I'm going to carefully start to mark in their greys. I'll build it up in a, over a few layers. Anywhere they've got their little stripy bits. Did I just, um, hang on, I'm just going to lift that off a little bit. Makes a bit more, I need it to be less runny. I've got too much water in it. Indigo. Oh, not indigo, cobalt, cobalt, sorry, burnt umber. Oops, and that's very dark grey. That's a bit better, it's a bit more solid. And I might, let's have a look. There's it, it's dry here. So I can just add some of these little stripy bits. Around 
here. Start to get a bit of their feathery details in. I can work under here as well. Trying to stay as steady as I can. <laughs> I get the wobbles up. So I'm just filling in these little feathery bits on the back of his neck. Because they have these beautiful feather patterns. Come down in lines. Take that around there. Having a quick look. He looks cute, and I'm going to go down onto his wing feathers because he's got these lines that come down here as well for the bottoms of his feathers. The bottom, yeah. Where's the other one? There it is. So I'm going to darken up underneath the whole wing because it is darker under there in that dark sort of bluish colour. Like that. Then I'm going to go, because he's got these feathers here, sort of go down like that in a slightly different direction. And then same on this side. Where's my other photo gone? I'm working from a couple of different photos. So he's darker under there as well. down there like that because that's his other wing and he's looking way too sort of flat at the moment I've got no three-dimensional nessness on him yet so I've got to add mixtures of colors I need to get to the tail of this one so I'm going to add a bit of this darker color under here as well just at the top part of it the underneath of his tail that same on this one righto now I'm going to go back to work on this one on the right hand side add some of these stripes in and I've done them in pen like just a lightly I've lightly marked the lines and all papers act differently this paper paper granulates quite a lot which is interesting because all, all papers I usually use arches and this is a new paper I've been trying for about a month or so and um, yeah it, it does act differently with my watercolors which is fine because it's all fun and games it's all learning I've got to add some white back into those eyes. I've lost a little bit of white in the eyes. Okay, I'll go down on the wing feathers. So they go around the back like that. And I'll build up that in a few layers. I'll add darker on top as well. Then his wings come, these feathers come down this way and that way. Oops. Like that. And I'll add that. Everyone raves about arches, but it's very expensive. I'm not at the stage that I'm ready to try expensive paper. Yeah, I love arches. I must admit, it's, it's the nicest that I've ever used. Um, yeah, I, it's my favourite, uh, but it is in, incredibly expensive. I do. I don't practice on my arches like I usually, like I would normally do this sort of piece on arches. Um, but I've got lots of books. But for normal day to day stuff, 
I use, these are, um, what are they? Stillman and Burn watercolour mixed media books. So I do all my sort of sketchy stuff in there and play around because that handles watercolour just as well and I get to keep it all in a book. Um, so yeah, the Stillman and Burn Beta and Zeta series I like because I like the smooth paper. Um, but yeah, I do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do all my, all my normal work. Like day to day, if I'm just mucking around, I do it all in books, in my Stillman and Burn books. Or yeah, but if I'm doing a serious piece that I'm wanting to sell or anything like that, it'll go on to paper. So this is this is actually out of my campaign book, which is quite nice, but it does it does um, act differently. I find that the arches it doesn't granulate like this. So it's a, everything acts differently. All the paints go different. They do different things. So I'm gonna go cobalt turquoise. I'm gonna mix up some more of my green. Cobalt turquoise. Me lemon yellow again. And I'm gonna go back onto this first budgie. His tummy's dry. Clean my brush and wet his tummy again in a couple of spots, like around here, I reckon. Oops, oh, excuse me. I'm full of air today. I apologize, guys. Okay, and then drop some of that and let it run. You need to be a scientist to work with watercolour. <laughs> oh, look, it takes a bit of getting used to. It does take a bit of getting used to. Um, but once you, once you, and you've got to just go, you've got to not worry about the things that happen that you don't plan. <laughs> you just got to let it have a life of its own. That's the hardest part is learning to be out of control and allowing it to be a little bit out of control. I mean, I've got, I know people who do do it and they're, they're almost perfect, perfect. I definitely haven't got that technique. I tend to let watercolour be watercolour and let it, like I just pop water down like that, blob it in, let it run. And then I can adjust edges if I need to. I can tidy up edges and things. But you watch some people and it's like, oh my God, how do they get it so perfect? They're the, they're the, the clever ones. Yeah, that's too stressful, I'm sticking to acrylics. <laughs> I'll check out the final painting later. Keeps buffering. Oh, no worries, doll. Have an awesome day. Thank you for popping in. Thank you for popping in. I'm sorry it's been a bit bit rough on you, mate. Hopefully. You can enjoy the video after. That's the beauty of YouTube. It stays up. <laughs> you can watch it when you get a chance. But thank you for hanging around as long as you have, doll. See you next time. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pop a little bit of this shadow under there. I'll add a bit of purple under here as well. Go into the green on there. All right. Whew. So their, their beaks are sort of a tawny color. I'm just trying to decide whether to, I don't know. I need to get another picture of budgies up. Can add a little bit of light back under here I can't really do it now I need to add I'm gonna use a lighter color pen because I love I love mixing up my pen and watercolor so I am gonna add a little bit of um, pen back into these after oh my camera went it'll be back in a second it does that just bear with me guys sorry there we go my internet that was my internet because <laughs> my my phone's wireless you professionals just sort of go, ta-da, and it's beautiful, me train wreck. No, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Believe me, I have train wrecks, don't you worry. I have lots and lots of train wrecks. Um, and 50 years of practice. I mean, I've been drawing and painting. I've been painting for 30 years, and I've been drawing for all of my life. I don't ever remember not drawing. But, um, yeah, believe me, there have been lots and lots of train wrecks. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of train wrecks over the years. So I'm just going to add a bit of indigo. I'm going to get some start to strengthen the colours now. But um, even the other day, my last stream, I made a mess. I did two paintings because the first one I failed. I wrecked the background bad. But I like to show the bad stuff as well as the good because people realise you know, everyone's human. You know, it isn't always a perfect work of art every time. There are messes. We all make messes. And I made a terrible mess. <laughs> You need to see that. Yes, it happens. Yeah, watch my last stream and see the mess that happened with the first painting. I ended up starting again and had a successful second piece, but the first one was horrendous. So, <laughs> yeah. 
and I left it. I thought I'm not editing it out because it's what happened. And yeah, I don't I don't edit out the bad stuff. If it's not it's not perfect, it's not perfect. You just try again. So yeah, I had two attempts last stream to get the right get the piece I was happy with. Gives the rest of us some hope. Yeah, <laughs> there's always hope, Dale. There's always hope. You just got to have a giggle at the mistakes and go, oh well, I've learnt from that. I'll try again. And I always get to the the um, halfway through a picture, I'm like, oh, this is not working. Like even this one, I'm looking at it going, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> but then you get past that and it, go, it goes back to a good spot. But um, Every painting has its ugly phase. Every drawing has its ugly phase. You just got to keep working through it until you get to a happy space. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of lots of art that you see that's finished and perfect, and but they've had how many attempts have they had to get there? <laughs> oh yeah, I have that every single painting. Oh no, yeah. Well, actually, I do too. I do too. I get to, I hit the oh god, this is not going to work. And then you go, oh, look at that, it worked. <laughs> I'm just coming out the other side of that with this one. I'm just getting to the, oh, yeah, it might have, might have a chance. <laughs> but the thing with watercolour too is sort of keep it simple, take the pressure off, keep it simple. Um, so this is just like, this will be four or five layers. So I'm just wetting the paper again where it's dry. And I'm using, what green am I using now? I'm using Viridian green, I think. No, I'm not. What am I using? Olive green. Get an olive. Sometimes start another painting and come back to it. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll be doing something too. And I won't like it, but I'll like it later. <laughs> like a couple of my... It's, it's funny. You know, some of my artwork, I don't I don't necessarily like it. I, I mean, I like it. I'm happy with it for what it is. But, yeah, I think, oh, it could be better. It could be this. And people love it. You know, and, and everyone's different. Everyone sees something different and everyone likes different things. And some things I'll love and no one else will like it. <laughs> it's bizarre. It's funny. But beauty is in the eye of the beholder, especially when it comes to art. It really all is all, um, what's the word? There's a word for it. Yeah, I get that all the time. I often need to go to bed and sleep. Yes. Exactly. Subjective. That's the word. Subjective. That is the word. Objective. Both. All of those. <laughs> both of them. I can't remember. Both work. Both work. <laughs> I'm going to drink my cold coffee. Like that. And then have another look. Their heads are too yellow. I mean, they are yellow. I'm actually going to add, but they're just too flat. They're too one colour. So I'm going to add a little bit of orange. So a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow. A little bit of red, a little bit of yellow. Because they're because it just they just look flat. So I've just got to add a little bit of variation in the colours and tones, just to give them some interest. So they don't look flat. Same on this one. A little bit of orange around the top of the beak, maybe. A bit of orange around there. So I've got all the same colours are in here. So there's little orange and a little bit of green. And so there's all the same colours. There's all ye yellows, reds and blues to make up all of these colours. So it'll unify it. Oops, that's a bit too red. That's too red. Okay, going back. <laughs> there we go. That's better. So yes, more yellow, less red. Famous last words. Now, I've got to try and drag that down. Wet me brush a little bit. Soften that edge. So literally just get a wet brush and just drag that out then. Go back onto this first bird. They're starting to look cute. They're starting to look cute. We're getting there, slowly, slowly. 
slowly, slowly catchy monkey. And then pop that there. So I'm just working around anywhere that I think you can see I need some variation. I'm gonna add that orangey colour. There we go. See, even that little bit just stops them being so flat looking. Because who wants a flat budgie? <laughs> Wants a flat budgie, not me. They're gonna be they're gonna be little round budgies and have three dimensionalness -ness -ness -ness. So I'm gonna mix up a pale grey. Mix up a pale grey for the beak. So I'm just gonna add a ton of water so it's incredibly pale. Burnt under cobalt blue and a ton of water to make it really and maybe a bit of yellow ochre. And a bit of yellow ochre. A little bit of yellow ochre. It'll make it a dirty grey, but that's fine because the little beaks are a dirty colour. So I'm going to pop that onto his little beak. On both of their little beaks. And it'll just sort of almost just tint the paper a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to go a little stronger blue onto the edges of their little nosy beak bits. Their little blue bits on their nose, just around that edge. Like that and pop a little dot for his nostril around that bit and a little dot for his nostril you're not, you're not even going to see it but i know i did it so it's all good <laughs> and i'm going to go around the underneath of the beak a little bit with that shadowy color hello wayne how are you mate how are you how are you so i'm going to take that shadow color under this beak as well I just wet the paper a tiny little bit. You can barely even see it, but it's just enough. Just enough to oops, give it a little bit of depth. Because half the half the thing with watercolour is having it so it looks 3D. And allow it, see how I've got I've got light green, yellow, dark green, blues, all the different colours help. I'm actually going I'm actually I'm going to grab my white pen. I have a beautiful white pen, which is my favourite to use for such occasions when I've lost white. And it is called a Mitsubishi. That's not right. <laughs> it's called a Signo Uni Ball. And I'm just going to grab a bit of white back onto his, onto their tails, onto the underneath of the feathers. Broke my hip. Oh! <gasps> Having a shower, got out, slipped straight on my bum, ignored it, got up two weeks later, went to the doctor's. Oh, wow! Oh, no, mate, that's no good. That's no good at all. Trapped my sciatic. No! That's no good at all, doll. Oh, sending very gentle hugs. That's no good. And there's not much they can do for that either. It's just a matter of, oh, that's no good at all. No good at all, doll. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, just make sure you rest and you don't, well, you're not going to be able to do much. Yeah, I know, speedy recovery, Dale. Make sure you rest, though. Don't try and do anything you shouldn't be doing. I'm just going to add a few different colours down through the tail just to keep it interesting because it was looking a bit flat. Okay, now let's have a look. Shadow colours. I'm going to go a really dark green, so almost pure olive, under the tums. Because this bit down here, I'm going to wet the paper a little bit. Wet the paper a little bit. Doesn't matter that I've got a little bit of green on it because I'm going to be using green anyway. And just add that, drop that in around under there. Like that. Um, thanks. So right now, for right now, my left foot is completely dead. Oh no, it's not, it's weird not being able to feel it. Oh my god, be so careful you don't injure it. It's agony. Oh. That's no good, doll. Yeah, just be careful because if you don't feel your left foot, that's bad. But as long as you've been to the hospital. So they've checked the blood supply and stuff. I'm 
making sure blood's getting to that foot. So I'm adding this dark green. Take it right down under that wing. So we're starting to get a little bit of 3D happening. Um, so sitting down is somewhat next to impossible. Really standing up is probably the best thing I can do. Yeah, I can't walk very far. Can you go to physio or anything? I only stream for about two hours because I can't sit down. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the queen of sitting down. <laughs> I'm very good at sitting down. I sit down a lot, too much. I've got to get on my bike today. Um, so I'm going to go back in to that olive and go. I'm going to add a bit of dark, a bit of indigo to it. I want to darken it up. So I'm going to go olive and a little bit of indigo. So I'm using all the same colours that I've got in the painting, just in slightly different mixtures. Slightly different mixtures to get the different intensities. But because the colours are all in the painting anyway, it will still be unified. It won't look like what the hell, what the earth did they put that colour in there for? <laughs> it won't jar, be jarring. It won't be jarring. That's the word I'm trying to think of. Why is that not thick enough? Take that around there. See, see it's just that little bit darker because the paper's quite wet. I didn't want to do what I wanted it to do, but that's fine. Now I'm starting to get it. Same over here. Oh, I've got to pick that up a little bit with my cloth that's covered in all kinds of paint now. And I'm just going to blib in that um, this is the indigo and olive into the darkest parts. And they're starting to come together. I'm actually going to try and sneaky get that white back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Posca pen. The sciatic nerve runs down through all the major organs and arms and legs. Yep, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They're getting there. They're definitely getting there. I'm just going to try and get my Posca pen to work so I can get some white. It's not going to work. Great, my pen's not working. <laughs> I'll just have to use this one. So, what was I going to use it for? I can't remember what I was going to use it for. Um, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to use my pen for. Oh, around the eyes, that's right. So this is just gel ink. So I just want to get that white back around the eyeball. Yeah, physio will, is probably the only thing that will help. I love physio. <laughs> And yeah, it is probably the only thing that will help it. I'll tidy up this. I'm going to do them with a little bit of pen when that dries. I'm going to add a highlight back onto that foot. Highlight onto that foot. Just got to let that ink dry as well. Um, go back to my small brush and get some shadow underneath. I'm going to go in a dark orange. Where's my dark? I might even try. A little bit of quinacridone gold. Got to clean that. It's a sort of a greeny gold, but that works because there's a lot of greens in this little bird, these little birds. I'm just going to pop that down onto their little chests. Just the tiniest little bit. Same with this one. And I've got to add a bit of that orange, go back onto here, re-wet the orange and take it down under here. Just want to soften that area down there. Wet my brush. Don't want any hard edges. Alright, let's have a look. They're looking alright. I've got to get the pupils back. So I think that'll be dry now. Where's my zero zero something or other? That'll do. And get the pupil back. I want their little round pupils like that. There we go. That's better. Look at that. Pop the little dot for their nostrils. Just 
little bit around the top of the eye. Don't make it a solid line because that looks not right. And I can also go back in because I don't mind. I like to use a little bit of um, pen as well. I love mixing up my media. So I'm just going to add some little darker lines. Just not doing them in straight lines, just um, strengthening, just jig zigzagging sort of, just scribbling along the edges of the feathers. It'll give them a little soft edge, even though it's dark. <coughs> Sitting on ice packs is also nice, yes. And especially because you've got so much heat happening over there at the moment too. So then these feathers come down here. I can get the definition on these wing feathers. A little bit of definition on the wing feathers anyway. Take that right down. There, like that. Same down here. Now, where am I? I'm going to add a little bit on the bottom parts of these head markings and that would be my dogs barking at magpies at the front door I would think I think I think all right or the neighbors oh no it'd be the garbage trucks that's what they're barking at the garbage trucks and I think I forgot to put the bins out oops <laughs> as you do so I did do this originally, the whole drawing is pen and watercolour. Oops. Just not doing solid lines, I'm just gonna just add little touches here and there. I'm pretty happy with that. And get a little bit of detail onto their toesies. Do the little clawy bits. Shadows underneath. Like that. And then same on this one. Okay. I'm going to add a bit of purple shadow colour. So I'm going to mix up a purple with my indigo. Indigo. I've got to buy more indigo. Cad red. making a very dark purpley colour for this bit just where their deepest darkest shadows are down there coming up there I can do that there it's going to soften the edge soften the edge a little bit side. Alright, reckon we're pretty good. Reckon they look pretty cute. Just going to tidy up here. I've got a little bit of green smudge on there but I can just literally go over that with a damp brush. Just type, just scrub it a little bit and that'll lift. I can add a little, I can touch that with my cloth. I'm going to add a bit of yellow ochre back over the top of that. Get a bit more yellow ochre on this end. Strengthen up that top line on the stick. Like that. Maybe a little bit of brown, a little bit of burnt umber, teeny tiny little bit. Teeny tiny little bit. Like that. I'm going to wet my brush, clean it. I'm going to drag this out. Don't like that bit. The drag, I don't want a hard edge there. Drag that out. And I reckon that is just about done, peeps. Let's take the tape off and see how they look. Try not to tear it. I love it when you get these little hard lines around the edges when you take off the, the thing. Hello, Elf, how are you? 
So it's going to take me tape off. Oops. It's fuzzing up the tape stuck a bit too well there. <laughs> Let's take those edges off. Take that off there. Like that. And that is just about them done. I think they look pretty cute. I'll take off these edges of this. And that will be just about them done, I think. So I'm quite happy with those. You taking a break from your digital art? Oh, I'm mixing it up. I love doing all of it. So I'm doing it all, Elf. <laughs> One day, like I did digital last night, I was just playing with it myself. And then, um, yeah, I've been doing acrylics and watercolours and drawing. I've been doing it all. <laughs> They are little cuties, aren't they? You know what I haven't done? I haven't signed them. So I better sign them, eh? So I'm going to sign them. Yep, having a go at it all. <laughs> so I'm going to sign them down this bottom corner. Grab a bit of my indigo. And then I reckon we are just about done. Sign them down here. Just very slightly lightly. Like that. And they are done. So... There you go, guys. So thank you for hanging out and spending the morning with me and creating these little budgies. They were lots of fun and they're very simple to do. Very simple to do. Um, yeah, just lots, lots and lots of greens and yellows <laughs> and a couple of blues. So, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out and being here. And I will be back with another live stream. Um, I hear Australia is having COVID outbreak. Yes, oh my goodness, it certainly is. But that's okay. I just stay on my farm. I don't go out. I'm it's it can it, it yeah I'm staying home. <laughs> I don't go anywhere. I just I just don't do people. I don't see people. Don't go anywhere near people. So it's all good. I just see you guys. That's enough. <laughs> but um yeah, so yeah, but we're safe. We're on a farm and we're out in the country. So it's less likely to to get us. We're getting vaccinated in the next week or so, so I'll be very happy when that's done. But um yeah, so onwards and upwards. So I will be back on what day is it today? Today's Tuesday. I might do another stream tomorrow, but I will definitely be back Friday. I might do another stream tomorrow morning because I can't help myself. Um, but I will definitely see you all on Friday morning, same time, or Friday afternoon, your time. And yeah, so that'd be awesome. So thank you so much for hanging out. You take care too, Elf, and everyone, and Yasmin, and Aya, and... Oh my God, my names. <laughs> names have left my head. But thank you, everyone. And I will see you all in a few days. Take care, guys. And thanks again. And I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> Take care, guys. See you, Yasmin.